Good evening everyone and welcome to this Friday night stream. I hope everybody's had an absolutely lovely week. Uh, tonight we're driving the Peninsula Corridor and I'm giving the baby bullet a try for the first time. I'm, I'm joined by Jamie. How are you doing tonight, Jamie? Hello everybody. Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. The hat is back. The hat is indeed back, Mr. JMB. Um, oh, look at that. I see some familiar faces in the chat tonight as well, so warm welcome yeah. to everyone. Hope you've all had a good week. Um, yeah. I'll uh, get started. Now, I've... Sonic is set, Sonic Scott has said, has Natalie taken a hat off since the last stream? <laughs> <laughs> I have, but I put it on specially just for you lot. Right. Do I have to turn it on in order to unlock the doors? I think I do, right? Probably. I'm assuming so. I think I tried to open the doors earlier. And I yeah, couldn't. I'd imagine then you'd have to turn it on before. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, forward. And then. Is it right or left? Let's find out. Which side is it? Oh my god, they're both the same. Which one am I in? Oh, I'm in this one. Look at them getting on. There we go, they're all getting on. Yeah, so last time I did Peninsula Corridor, I didn't actually get to um, drive the baby bullet. I had to. I drove, you know, the one that's at the back. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah and I so. then I, I can't remember the class. I just can't get over how spectacular this one is. It's like, it's like being in a shuttle. <laughs> it's a bit of an upgrade, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Ryan... Is asking when the, the results of the livery contest be released. So the contest ended uh, yesterday, um, and yeah. you will fi we'll give you the results next week. We'll, well, we'll announce the winner next week. Yeah. Yeah. But some of them were so spectacular. So if you haven't had a chance to go and look at them, go into the yeah. forums and have a look at some of the uh, liveries people made because you're very talented people. I know, some of them are incredible. Mm -hmm. Just the amount of detail they've gone into is amazing. Yeah. Alrighty. This. Oh, I did this earlier and I put way too much power on it once because that's what I'm used to. What have I done? Ah. Am I missing something? Why am I not moving? Uh, let's have a look. What have you done wrong there? So put, put it back into zero. Put it back into zero. Forward. Oh, I know. Look, it's this thing. There we go. There we are. Let's try now. The other question is, you haven't got your signal. My signal? What signal? Look, it's red in front of you. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, my gosh. That's, yeah. Let's not do a spad. No. If I crawl forward, is it going to let me go? If you press tab and press contact signal, let's see if that works. Oh, denied. Wait for signal to change. Right, there yeah. we go. What am I waiting for? I'm not sure. I'm slowly rolling, so I'm going to break just in case like I get a bit too close. There we go. Look at the map to check. Which, which button's the map? Is it 9? Yeah. Uh, is that a chat? No, because I haven't played... Oh, there we go. Interesting. If you move across a bit and have a look, see whether... Let's have a look, see. Is it yeah. odd? Yeah, it is odd. Oh, I've also forgot my headlights, which are down here. Ah. Bright or cruising light? Uh, bright, because you're coming into the evening, aren't you? I am, yeah, we're doing a little sunset one. Yeah. Do, should I put the rear ones on or not? Uh, no, because this is... I think you can run it as a... Oh. Okay. I'm not sure if they're the taillights or... I'm not sure why we're not show. going anywhere. There's an inbound train. Ooh, interesting. The train might be coming in further down the map. Is that it over there? Look at that. Is that coming towards us? That, that looks, might be it. That looks like it's coming towards us. Ah, there we go then. It's just me being impatient. I don't think it's a bug. Like, let me <laughs> go! 
<laughs> and we can see it coming towards us now, should we? Should we actually watch it? Hold on. Yeah. Let's see. It's this bad boy here. There we go. Let's get a nice shot of it. They've got their headlights on. Ta da! Yep. Busy San Francisco will always be busy. Well, apparently. Yeah. How dare they not allow me to go? <laughs> it's so odd how you can drive it like that. It's so weird, doesn't it? it I know, like... it does. I, yeah. like, I didn't understand what it meant the first time. Like, when I got on the back, I thought you'd have to move the um, actual loco, but you don't. It's weird how it's powered from both ends. Yeah, because mo <clears throat> most of them, uh, when you look at sort of powered units like that, they don't look... You know, they they normally have like a separate driving tray, what we call a driving trailer, and the trailer mm -hmm. actually slopes down like the front of a. You know, they actually make it look like another end of a loco, but that is yeah. just like a coach. They've built an end of a coach, basically. Why am I not going? Oh, I'm just going slowly. Here we go. We're doing. There we go. We're moving off. Oops, wrong one. Ah. <laughs> I meant to do that. So we could do like watch us going off nice and slowly. Uh, there we go. Goodbye station. As you try the cruising light as well, try the bright cruising light, try that. This oh cruising light one. That one. Yeah, try Ooh, that. that's that really bright. bright. I like that. There we go, that's better. A little bit of break on. There we go. Lovely. So, I was asking Jamie earlier, why is the baby bullet called the baby bullet? Because, like, you know, babies are small, and this is not a small train. Yeah, and I, it was one thing I didn't know. I've been trying to find out, but yeah. if anybody in the chat knows exactly why it's called a baby bullet... Yeah, please do explain, because I, I would like to know why. I'm, yeah. I'm, So many people waiting on the platform. They need to give you a longer train next time. Yes, they do. I, I thought it was a lot of people waiting as well. Maybe I closed the doors on them too soon. Sorry, Maybe. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and when I had to wait there so long as well, I could have just left the doors open, really. You could have done, yeah. 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 Are the passenger carriage lights on? Knowing me, probably not. Um, that is true. <laughs> where do I find them? Are they, is, what do you think is at the top? That's my reading light. Oh gosh, there's so many lights and buttons. There is a lot of buttons there. I have no idea where the passenger lights are. No, we're going to have to come back to that. Yeah. Because it's the mini version of the Japanese bullet train. Is that is that true? Uh, someone has said that and the baby bullet service is slightly faster than the so apparently baby bullet is actually the name for the express services on the cow train. Okay. So is it, that is, so the express name of it is basically because it's called a baby bullet express. I quite like that if it is. Where are my passenger lights? So HEP button apparently he H E P button. H E P. So they the top chat. They at the top where Natalie was before, up there. Oh there. Okay. Why does that look like a really important button I shouldn't push? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want to touch that. What's the other one? <laughs> There we are, there's the on button. Yeah. Uh, we're doing it. I pressed it. If you guys are teasing me and now the train is going to start shouting at me and stuff, <laughs> <laughs> I will never forgive you. <laughs> oh, gosh. Don't forget to horn for the crossing. Does this one have two? Oh, it does the bell. This is the one that does the bell, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Will the bell just keep going now? Yeah, so it'll just keep consistently. There you go. 
Oh yeah, don't forget to open your windows. Well, I want everybody to be able to hear it, although I can't reach that window. Oh, burn. Ah, heap start, then heap on, then heap isolate to run. So there must be a... Ah, I see. To do what? The, to, for what? For those lights to work. You know where you're up there before. It says yeah. There's, a, there's an order you have to do it. So it says heap start, then heap uh, on. Okay. And then what heap is it? start. So there you go. Heap yeah. start. Heap on. Heap on. Well, I don't want it off, do I? And then, what's the next one? Ah, there you go. Yeah, so where you were before, push that to run. So where Is that? that... No, no, next one. Next one along. Oh, Not okay. that one. The fur furthest one. Oh, we're going to have to wait till I can see it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Note to self, I should have driven this as well, so I knew what it was doing. Apparently, a US congresswoman invented the name because she thought it was a catchy name and would attract people to use the service. Oh! One of, one of the trains is named after. That's pretty cool! Yeah. Right. I've pushed the two. Where's Which, which, which is the order? Do I have to go back to that one? No, so there's another one. You see the selector thing at the very end? That. That. Yeah, then push it to run. There, there we go. go. I did it. There we go. Okay. up a bit more. Yeah, I was going a bit slow, really, wasn't I? <laughs> cab light, perhaps. Maybe next time I go in a tunnel, I'll absolutely put the cab light on. Yeah. That's going to be another fun one to find. Gosh. I think you could just use the reading light where the reading light was where you've just gone past what you think it's that's my reading light and then there's just yeah so turn sound. that on basically okay. when you come near a tunnel because that would probably be... yeah there yeah. you go look. yeah you can turn use the L key to turn on cab lights ooh there we go there we go we'll keep that on just because I'm struggling to find everything. <laughs> <laughs> and we're coming up to a tunnel anyway, so I needed it. Thank yeah. you, chat. You guys always have my back. <laughs> they do. They're so good to me, Jamie. They are very good. They are very good. Even when it gets dark, you should turn it on. Nice. Apparently, the braking is easier on this train than the FP40. No. Oh. Have you given this route a much of a go, Jamie? This is one route I haven't actually done. Do you want so, to? Yes, I think now I'm watching it, I definitely do. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's, there's certainly some TSW routes I've got to learn. Uh, is everybody looking forward to the LGV release? I know I am. Same. I just can't wait. I hope everybody enjoyed the uh, stream showcasing it a bit. <laughs> Especially that scenario. That was fantastic. Yeah. Seeing the weather change. <laughs> Crazy said it's always sunny in California. This is not very sunny, was I lied to? I mean, we're <laughs> supposed to be on a clear spring day heading towards sunset, but, like, it seems a bit miserable if it's a spring day. Yeah. Ooh, passing train. There you go. If I push that... There we go. Sorry, the bell was getting on my nerves a little bit there. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it was just so persistent. Oh, Mr. JMB said, I want to uh, run a uh, 101 on the LGV route and see how long it takes. That would be rather fun. I'd like to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently Matt tried to break it for everybody last night. <laughs> what did he do to break it? I don't know. I didn't see that bit. I don't think I've seen all the all of it yet. <laughs> uh, someone said, "Is the red HUD box still broken on this logo? Is it not supposed to be red?" 
No, I thought it was supposed to be clear white, wasn't it? Oh, is it? Yeah. I'm sure it's supposed to be white. Oh, well, I guess that needs looking into, really, doesn't it? Yeah. Thank you for pointing that out. Uh, George is asking what my PC specs are. Um, off the top of my head, I cannot think of them. I did mention them in the previous stream I was in. Um, but unfortunately, I can't both drive and find my PC specs, or else it will end badly. <laughs> oh, we don't want to see that. We don't want that. <laughs> we don't want that. Should we get some outside shots of... Should we... Hold on. Should we try and do a kernel cam? I don't think it's straight enough for a kernel cam. Oh, too fast. That's not great. Oh. Oh, nearly. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, that's better. That's better. That wasn't so bad. That wasn't terrible. That wasn't my worst kernel cam in the world. No. Matt nearly overshot. And he broke the brakes about three times. <laughs> oh, we saw the brakes. Had bro yeah, yeah. Because he'd been messing about with the test system, didn't he, or something? Oh, uh, was he? Yeah. Hasn't it got, like, four different uh, safety systems on it? It has, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, goodness me, I'm speeding. This, oh. is, what, this is what happens when I don't pay attention. Oh, DNA Swift tags. So Jamie and Nat, if you could pick a country to take TSW to next, what would it be? Mm. What would it be for you, Nat? I would pick Australia because I spent a year in Australia and it would be nice. Did to you? Yes, I did. And it would be nice to see some of the uh, trains and locos and some of the. I saw some of the freight trains from like when I was staying in someone's house in Australia, so I'd like to see those ones. Yeah. Yeah. I think for me it'd probably be Austria. Austria. Yes. Any particular reason why Austria? Um, Do you have a favourite? Yeah, I, I like the. Um, I, I must admit there was. I, I do like the railways around Innsbruck. You know, I must admit they they they're good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Arctic petrol, Semmering barn or Missing Wild barn. I'm not sure. I'd probably say Semmering Barb, I would, uh, would thought. Apparently Matt lived in Australia for a while too. If he did, I don't know, and I'll have to ask him now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I used to... In I'd love to see, like, all the, um, the trams from Melbourne as well. I know it's not trams in world, but still. <laughs> I used to get them every day. Uh, Blake asked, I missed the beginning, which local are we, are we in? We're in the baby bullet. The baby one bullet, that looks spectacular. Me. Look at it. It's just huge. I'm sorry. I'm impressed with the inside of this one. I really <laughs> am. I just keep which imagining myself in real life actually sat in it, you know? And it's just... I'd be so tiny in such a big <laughs> thing. <laughs> But the, the class number for this is an uh, just a bit of facts for this. This class number is an MP three six PH dash three C, and they are of this type. They are one hundred and ten altogether. Really? Um, built by different people and different variants. Um, they have a top speed of. Let me find it. 90 no 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 not 93 102 miles an hour mm -hmm. you know top speed of about 102 miles an hour and they weigh uh, total local weight is three one hundred thirty four thousand kilograms which i don't know what that is in tonnage that is quite a lot yeah and they're 15 foot six high there you go oh. Liam asks, have I missed a stop? Trust me, Liam, if I had missed a stop, the chat would tell me I have missed a stop. <laughs> I would never live it down. 
たいな<笑><笑> No, it's not telling you to stop there, so you're alright <laughs> <laughs> Does this loco come with the peninsula corridor main route? I'm not sure off the top of my head I'm not sure if this is a separate loco add-on Let me go and have a look Yeah, can you find out for us, Jamie? It'd be pretty cool um, what's my favourite route? So, my favourite route to play on Trade Symbol 2 so far has definitely been Isle of Wight. Um, I've enjoyed how chill it is. I don't know what it is about that particular route. I just like it. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my one so far. But I'm trying lots of new ones, so I'll let you know if that changes. What about you, Jamie? What's your favourite route? What, on, uh, what, on TSW? Let's go for both of them. TSW and TS. Uh, so TSW, um, I think currently it's it's going to be Bakerloo line, but I haven't driven many of the German ones, so that's probably going to change. And also LGV is going to is coming out, so that may change again. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a possibility that TS it's going to be one of the Swiss ones. Yeah. And it's going to be either it's going to be one of the RHB Russian railway ones. Or it's going to be Gotthard Barn. Mm -hmm. And I found out the Baby Bullet is a separate uh, adult. How much is it, Jamie? So it is uh, eleven ninety nine. There you go. You can get it for eleven ninety nine. I'll show you the outside in a minute. Hold on. Look at that. Look at it in all its glory. Should we do a nice? Am I gonna Domain. get a decent shot and not fudge it? Oh, you've got to stop at the station. Don't forget, it's yeah. coming up. That was risky. That was risky. <laughs> oh gosh. The main has said Rosa is my favorite. Yeah, I, I, I must admit, uh, the Rosa line is not one I've travelled on personally in real life. Oh dear. But it does. Oh dear. Are we gonna do another Natalie? Well, yeah, I don't even think this is gonna be a Natalie because it's not slowing down fast enough. <laughs> oh. Time to do it, Natalie. Here comes Oh, Jack. God. I was playing around too much. Wait, isn't there a second break? What does that do? That. Probably stop a lot slower. There we go. I think I both shot that. Like, I don't even think. I don't even think that's a Natalie. I think that's like. Apparently, you have hit the platform. I have not. I think I've gone too far. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go around the corner. Look at that. That is a solid Natalie. Look mm. at that. Yes. There you go. Counts. It counts. <laughs> it was... <laughs> My God, every stream. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's like, hey! Look at, look at all these doors, right? They could, they've got loads. They've got one. They've got five. No, they've got four. They've got four. Four. They've got four doors, they're alright. They don't need any more than that. <laughs> <laughs> this, I, I, all I knew, I'm not entirely sure what this break does, but I knew it was there. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie. Well, you stopped on the stop marker just at the wrong end of the train. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Look, this is what the people come for. A classic Natalie. Yep. Very true. <laughs> as they, crazy as just said, who needs a platform anyway? Exactly. You know, and they had four doors to get out of there. Do they really need any more than that? Let's be honest. Like it's just, like, gr it's just it's greedy. <laughs> Apparently, they're saying take off the independent brake. What's the, the independent, independent brake? I thought I did. I did, didn't I? Isn't that released? Yeah, that's released. Yeah. Um, can someone explain to me what the independent brake is? I, I knew uh, it. So the independent independent brake will be the locomotive brake. There you go. Yeah, geeky gabble. Yeah. So the independent brake will be your loco brake, and then the automatic brake will be train brake. I'd imagine. So, so this will stop the whole, like all the carriages as stuff. well. Yeah. Whereas this one will just stop the front. I think so. <laughs> Gav said the Natalie break. I mean, I like that break. I think it's the reason <laughs> I did a successful Natalie and didn't just go flying past. 
<laughs> there we go, binary run, basically yes, there we yeah. go. Yeah. Um, and there's a tip for, um, you know, those of you learning, make sure you're paying attention when you come into the station and not trying to get a yeah. fancy shot of the front of the loco. <laughs> Uh, I mean, we're going to have to do a contest at some point of braking and driving and things like that between all four of us. We're going to have to do it at some point. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, oh, well. There we go. There's, yeah, there's the excitement for the night. All right, let's get it. Nice. Yeah, you got 3.2 miles, so you're Yeah, right. I can I can safely free cam now. It is quite mega. There we go. <laughs> Christmas stream, Jamie. I mean, we are doing um, a end of the year stream, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. But I doubt that's what we're gonna do on it. <laughs> no. <laughs> is Natalie always holding a pen while playing? Yes, I am. Um, it's just. <laughs> A thing I oh. do it usually because I end up writing stuff down throughout the stream so you might yeah. notice it and sometimes I'll bite on the end when I'm concentrating but yes I am holding a pen apparently the chat's getting annoyed now because you're not blowing the horn of the crossings oh I'm sorry <laughs> I'll pay more attention crossing did it <laughs> <laughs> So blow your horn at the crossing, turn on your bell when passing the stations. Okay. Yeah. So obviously the bell like stays on. After... Yeah. So, see, should I have blown the horn there? Yeah. Oh my gosh, how, did, how the heck did you keep it on top of them? There's loads. It is, yeah, that is what you do. <laughs> oh my gosh, and then you turn off the bell until you... That can't be right, there's loads. <laughs> So in theory, what you would do is, if there was a lot of crossings like this, you just turn it on until you've passed all the crossings. What about the you horn? Though? You said blow the horn at the crossings. There were like so you just four repeatedly blow it. You basically repeatedly. You blow just keep it. going. With yeah, the yeah, horn. yeah. You do breaks in between it. So is it? It's yeah. There we go. Two long, one short, one long, and then you do that for each and every crossing. Two short, one. Two, two long, one short, one long. So. Obviously, I can't hear it, but... Oh my god, it's hard! Two longs, a short, and a long... But, like, there's loads of them, so do you just, like, keep going throughout all they of them? They just cause... keep going. They literally just keep going. Oh god. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, we got another stop. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Independent break is your friend. <laughs> Breaks! Yeah. <laughs> they see I was I was focusing on the horn. <laughs> oh, my god. <laughs> and that was just Another Natalie break there. We what go. a shambles. <laughs> I am ashamed of myself. <laughs> And over the crossing. You see, this is why you don't try and like jump the crossing in case you have drivers like me. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. Stopped on a crossing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> a second Natalie Christmas came early. Yes, it did. Yeah. <laughs> We're on a roll tonight. <laughs> After this, right? I am gonna watch a video of the horn, like at the crossings, because. Yeah. I want to know just how frequently they use it. It is loads. Oh, too much. Moggy says I gave up trying. Yeah, I'm, so I'm sorry, Moggy. <laughs> sorry, Moggy. I was paying so much attention to the horn 
and like not the chat i was like and then you were probably all shouting at me to slow down and <laughs> i'm so sorry it's all right you got 7.6 miles the <laughs> next one but yeah i'm definitely gonna look up um the horn because it confuses me yeah <laughs> JP says my double choco mocha latte chino just flew off the table. Natalie, I demand a refund. <laughs> this is the use of of brakes is simply not tolerate tolerable. Yes, exactly. Yeah. At least you can still get off at your stop. You know, just saying. What more do you want? <laughs> can you imagine if you were one of the people who were on Natalie's train? <laughs> the you just come over covered in in cho hot chocolate and just go. Nasty, what were you playing at? <laughs> You'd have these people and they'd be like, who's who's the driver today? And they're like, no, I'll wait for the next one. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> see you at the front of the train, just like, yeah. no. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Search for American train horn sequence. It'll teach yeah. you how to do it. Okay. See, this is why I have my pen. There you go. American train horn. Already? Yeah, Rich, I'd agree with that. Best thing to do is slow down within a mile. Yeah, it depends on, on your brakes um, yeah. and your speed. And also so, paying attention to what you're doing probably helps yeah, as that, well. that normally helps, mm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, in order to slow down about a mile out, you actually have to look at the distance. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the train spot says seven miles to mess with the blowing horn. <laughs> Turn off the bell, everybody's saying. Someone said, here comes the broken Hillsdale crossing. What's the matter with the crossing? I don't know. I don't oh, I saw, oh yeah. Bar oh. Albert said, hey Natalie, you've got to do sand patch. I mean, at some point I do have to do sand patch, but... I feel like that's way too advanced for me at the moment. I don't know. I will give it a go at some point though. Oh, should I turn my like my bell off? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, but now we're going past. You said it was supposed to be on when we go past stations. I, d I don't know. With bells, it's, it's complicated. It's, Is the bell it's... supposed to be on as we go past the station or am I supposed to toot the horn as we go past the station? Chat will probably be able to say. <laughs> Cause now I'm confused. <laughs> yes, you do. When do you it when passing stations. stations. Okay. So bell, bell is for stations, but not necessarily for level crossings. Crossings, I don't think. Okie doke. There we go. Gotcha. Oh, bells and horn through station. Yeah, bells and horn. Yeah. Uh, so I imagine that's why the bell comes on when you push the horn. Yes, that would be why. Okay. <laughs> where uh, Apollo Gaming and slash is it? Where I live, there's a city near me that f real friends like to uh, like to nickname it the Horn City because there's approximately twenty railroad crossings in the city, and engineers have to do two long, short, long for each crossing. Wow! wow. They must get so tired of doing that. Yeah. The bell automatically turns on when you blow the horn. It's a safety feature. That makes sense. Yeah. Horn before platform, bell through platform. Right, so like, is that a platform? Yeah. And then yes, now it comes on. So like that. Yeah. You won't have heard that, but I No, I wouldn't have done. <laughs> <laughs> and then, bell off. Okay, okay, we're getting there. And then you do the home and you're passing through the railroad crossings. Right. Yeah. But then obviously I need to learn how to do the sequence. And then to confuse matters, Americans also have quiet sense. Oh, come on, Moggy. Like, I was just beginning to get the hang of this. And you're... <laughs> 
So how, if it's got, that's a question, Moggy, how does it work then if Americans have quiet zones, how does it work for railroads then? Yeah. How does that work? It's something I didn't know that they did have quiet zones. Crazy Dash said quiet zones suck so badly. Oh. What, how bad are quiet zones? Are you not allowed to do anything in quiet zones? That's not, oh, I thought that was, oh no it is, it is, it is a thing. It is a station. There we go. I was right. I thought I anticipated a station too early then. Ah, uh, quiet zones, I believe, are no horns, just bells. Ah, oh, there we go. I mean, I feel like the bells aren't really that quiet, though. Mm. You don't hold on to an emergency. Some towns are quiet zones, some don't. In them, you know. That's interesting. Well, I was hoping for a sunset on this particular timetable, but it's uh, not really happened, has it? No, it hasn't, no. No. See? Oh, oh, there's stars there! Oh, look at that. Yeah. Let's get a nice shot. you got 1.2, 1.1 miles to go. Thanks for the heads up. There we go. Oh, that was dreadful. Okay, let's start slowing down. Maybe a bit more. Moggy says, when I'm driving, everything in an emergency. A bit like my cooking. <laughs> oh dear. Thank you to everybody in the chat telling me to break. I... I really appreciate it because so far my breaking has not been great <laughs> <laughs> overshot inbound nah -uh. more like undershot oh hold on maybe an overshot maybe just no. a tad no we're alright we're gonna be alright I'm just breaking really hard it's fine they're going to spill their coffees again. Yeah. I think people just have to accept that I break really, really hard. Yeah. Here we go. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm concentrating so hard. <laughs> <laughs> mm. It's a lovely armour of burnt brioche rolls <laughs> in the Castel Moggy at the moment. <laughs> Let's have a look. Casadel Moggy, sorry, not Castel. Casadel Moggy. See, I can't get over the size of it. Like, look at this. Look at this human. And then look at it. It's like, it's so big. Yeah. What a machine. <laughs> Paul said Sam also throws all anchors as well. I think yeah. it's uh, the dovetail way. There are electric brakes if you move the power handle back far enough. Yeah. Right. Apparently I might be a tad quiet. You're a tad quiet? I'll move my mic a little bit closer. There we go. Case. <laughs> it's not American if it isn't big. Isn't that the truth? That is very true. Very, yeah. Very true. Will there ever be a time when Train Sim World 2 will be available for Linux? Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Um. Noelio, Peninsula Corridor Preserve Collection is so broken, was never f uh, truly fixed from Trains in World 1. Noelio, what problems have you been experiencing? Um, yeah. Please let us know on the forums. Um, and we'll look into it. We are looking to improve the Preserve Collection. That's why we have the Preservation Crew. So, yeah, let us know. 
Oh, so Vani Linux is a, 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 an alternative to Windows Free but Kibbleplex. So, um, if it, 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 I should imagine if you, it's probably not in the plans at the moment. So, but no. have a look on the. Uh, if it does come up, have a look at the roadmap. Yeah, yeah. Roadmap is the best way to um, keep track of what's being worked on. Yeah. Me. Crazy Dash, I made a whole bug post on the forums. That's great. So, um, it'll be looked into, um, but uh, when it gets looked into, I obviously can't let you know. I can't promise you when it'll get looked into. But obviously, if you've made a forum post, everything does get read. It's just yeah. not everything gets action straight away. It can sometimes just take a bit of time. But your suggestions, your feedback, nothing gets ignored. Um, it's just sometimes there's a lot of stuff, and it can it can take a while to get a fix you want through. Yeah, yeah. Railroad crossings are up ahead. Okay. I read a lot. Don't worry. I read all the suggestions. Of yeah. For TS side, so just, you know, if you if I have a suggestion, you know. Well, that's why we're here. We're here to read your feedback. Exactly. Yep. And pass along your sentiments and um, yeah on the roadmap stream they said that east coastway trains will be published next does that mean the next update uh so if it's an if it's in next arrival, um, that will come within the next update, yeah. But I didn't know East Coastway was in the roadmap. Uh, what are your favourite trains on Train Sim World? What about you, Jamie? I'm probably going to say the Class 20. The Class 20? Why the class twenty? Yeah. Uh, I've just always liked class twenties. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he's referring to the livery designer functionality, right? What about yours, Natalie? Um. Oh, that's a tough one. So my favourite at the moment from Trenton World is the ICE three, but only because I think it's really pretty. Um. I have no other reason to like it other than it's pretty because it's not my favourite route or anything like that. I just I just like the way it looks. It's very yeah. pleasing to look at. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, Moggy. Yes, English electric goodness. Yes. Yeah. Definitely, Moggy. Definitely. That's why I like the class twenties. Yeah. Very pretty is valid. I'm glad you think so. <laughs> slow down, slow down, stop slowing down. Oh gosh. Yeah. It's like they, it's like they knew I wasn't looking at it properly. Honestly, look, look at everybody <laughs> telling me to slow down. Everybody <laughs> knew. <laughs> you guys are awesome. <laughs> That has tickled me. It's like everyone in the chat knew I was not paying attention then. <laughs> <laughs> you have got amber lights as well, yeah? Yeah. Oh, that's a red one. Gosh. <laughs> yeah, you can see me not paying attention to what I should be. <laughs> Yeah, apparently the chat's your eyes, Natalie. There you go. Yeah, your chat. Someone your has to be. <laughs> you literally like, you know, there's Natalie like, oh, I don't know. I'm talking, I know. I'm talking. There you go. I'm away with the fairies, and everyone else is like, oh, she should probably be stopping about now. <laughs> oh gosh. We're going to run a slow crawl to to the end. At Falls and Horizon, driver four said, "Why do British trains not have dynamic brakes? They they do have 
Um, I think some of them do have electric brakes, but I think it depends. Um, I, th I don't think there's a real need for them in some some cases. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, they've got their own normal braking system, so we have the um, we call vacuum brakes, and you have the air brakes. Um, but I think it depends on the. We do have electric locomotives, which uh, have sort of a, basically the same to dynamic brakes. And this chat knows otherwise. I think that's probably the reason why. Yeah. You know how um, some trains are like all diesel and others are like diesel electric? Yeah. Does that mean that sometimes they run like on a bit of both? Like um... yeah, they were yeah. So it's it's complicated how it all works, um, and uh, it's it's rather complicated how they. So you've got <laughs> diesel electrics, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they've got a pantograph sitting at the top. Yeah. Um. Uh. The again, you know, you've got different types of of hybrids. They've now got a. Um, I think is it uh, hydrogen? I think I can't remember what it's with now, but there's there's all different types of versions of them now. Okay. Um, but it's it's so complicated that... to explain about how. I was going to say that's sort diesel, of like I'm not a diesel person. Mm -hmm. So unless someone in the you know some people will know I'm not very I don't understand the whole thing with diesels, diesel electric, diesel yeah. hydraulics, things like that. Um, some people know a bit, a bit a bit better about it than I do. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So, a uh, diesel electric is a diesel loco or diesel motor powering an electric or diesel powering an electric motor. There you go. Mhm. Mm it drives. So the diesel engine drives the electric generator, and then that electricity powers motors that provide the traction power. Okay. There we go. Yeah. I was wondering if it was like a hybrid, but that kind of makes more sense. Yeah, and then again, as someone has said there, there's, there's, um, you've got turbine locomotives as well, um, and you've got, yeah, there's all, there's so many different types. Oh, wow. Now, there are lots, there are even gas turbine trains. Incredible. Yeah. yeah. Are there any, um, like, I know that ICE3 has, is like, isn't that a green um, train like isn't that electric? That's electric, yeah. Are there any other ones beyond that one that are completely electric that are like clean energy? Well, it, it all depends on where the where the wires are getting the electricity from. Right. So if if their electricity is clean, then they're considered clean. Mm -hmm. So for example, um, you got to stop in a minute. Yeah, I've started breaking. Um, Don't worry, I've started. I've started. So for example, I'm a. Um, it was a reference for anybody who remembers Fred Dibbiner, very, very famous um, steeplejack, um, basically said that um, it was a reference in the, I think it was in the late 80s, early 90s, that they were showing uh, power of ele new electric trains. Mm -hmm. But they were powered by coal, because they were coal-powered stations. Oh. So technically, they weren't clean. No. Obviously, they were powered by coal powered stations so but when you look at somewhere like switzerland for yeah. example that runs all their trains on hydroelectric power yeah or most of their trains on hydroelectric power that's considered clean okay so again as as mark s has just said dutch railways use 100 percent green electricity that's amazing so exactly so p people think that when you know you install electric trains that they're mm -hmm. going to be clean that's not necessarily the truth it's the same with cars when you have yeah, yeah. you know electric cars it's the same thing as long as the electricity they're being powered on is clean then they're clean no no and green clean and green there you go. <laughs> i was curious i was curious because like i thought there'd be lots of potential for green trains should we say yeah yeah it's definitely getting darker out there. There you go. Uh, Bla uh, Bell and Team G has got... There's a, a, a solar panel train in Australia that's clean and green. Yeah, I remember seeing... Do you have the name of it? So I yeah, can look I'll it up? The class of it, yeah. Someone point out the name. I want, I want to see that one. 
And again, oh yeah, we got um, someone said like I C E T D is a diesel version of the I C E. So some of them have got a diesel motor and an electric motor, so they can run. Um, okay. As someone has said like the class 800s, um, okay. they've got a diesel motor, so they can go on lines that haven't got pantographs. Mhm. Mm Eurostar H S one L G V Nord, one hundred percent renewable. Renewable. Cool. Yeah. The um thirty ACs on the Long Island Railroad run on third rail and diesel. Third rail and diesel. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, and also there's different versions of of electricity that they can get it from. You've now got battery operated trains. Mhm. Mm um, you've got the third rail, um, and you've got the overhead catenary. Todd said, Sam says we can send messages to you guys via the forums, but I don't know how to do that. So what you can do, Todd, is say you create a thread about a topic that you're having difficulty with. When you write at the bottom, just put at DTG Napster or at DTG Jamie. Uh, yeah. I tend to browse the Train Sim World forums and, and Jamie I'm tends to monitor the Train Simulator forums. But if you at yeah. both of us, you'll get our attention. Yeah. Hope that helps. There you go. The AO2 has a small diesel motor in case of overhead line problems. So yeah, that's another reason why they'll fit, fit, fit them as well. Um, is if the, there's a failure in the overhead. I think wasn't it a reason that they didn't have enough electricity for the 802s when they were released? So they had to have mm -hmm. half of them because basically they didn't have enough uh, current power, did they? When because obviously the 91s and HSTs, they, they had a break within it. I don't know if that was true or not. I can remember hearing something like that. I'm going to look up that solar-powered train. Yeah, it was pretty good. I think it's an original DMU unit in Australia, and they've converted it. I mean, it's the perfect country to have a solar-powered train, isn't it? Let's be honest. Yeah. Amazing. Tom Scott made a vid on the solar power train. Thank hmm. you. Yeah. Sweet. Okay, I'm going to try not to speed. There you go, yeah. EMC issues for the 800 north of York. Yeah, I thought it was something like that. I couldn't remember exactly. Ooh, I have a reward. Oh, look at that. 36 miles, that's a very specific number to be given an award for. <laughs> Why 36? I don't know, I don't know. Apparently there was, um, US Pensy Steam had water scoops to pick up water while running. Yes, we did, we did in the UK, I think it was, I don't know whether the UK would have come up with the idea first, but, or whether it was the US, I'm not entirely sure. Okay. But, um, they, um, we had troughs of water within the rails and you had a scoop at the back of the loco and it used to scoop the water up and fill the tender up and there's many many comical photos of, of steam locomotives with water towering above them because they filled their tenders full yep. and they can't pull the scoop up in time Papa's film said will you stop supporting the last gen consoles like the Xbox One anytime soon no, that's not happening anytime soon. We still plan on developing content for the previous generation consoles. Ah, oh, there you go. Yana Dunker said why it's 36. The train model number is 36 in the name. There you go. Oh! Uh, why it's 36. Oh, you see, the world makes sense again. Uh, Moggy said, I could fix all the electric lines in this country, but everyone else would hate 90 mile per hour high speed limits. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's amazing, Moggy, when you think about it, that we're still, you know, when, when we had the British Railway Modernisation Plan in the 1950s, mm -hmm. um, that we're still implementing that from the 1950s. That's, that's how crazy it is, yeah. you know. Are you doing the return journey? No, I'm not planning on doing the return journey tonight. No. Crucible, anyone who saw the Royal Engine, uh, the Royal Train episode of Daz Army knows water troughs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Go and watch it, because 
uh, he was at the railway I volunteer at and it's amazing to see how much has changed since then but it's I must admit it was a fantastic episode of Dad's Army it's probably one of my favourite mm-hmm Uh, I saw someone saying that the UK is behind. The UK is very behind on high-speed trains. I think they are very. Yeah. Well, how come? How are we behind? So you you put it in the sense that both Germany and you know France will run at sort of nearer two hundred miles an hour when our top yeah. speed is about one hundred and forty top right. top speed. Obviously, you got to remember as well that their countries are a lot larger. Than are. Yeah, um, but I think that uh, we, you know, we we just don't have enough of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, Germany, France, and Japan have huge high speed networks, exactly. and China, I think, is the new one as well. China is 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 building good uh, good uh, high speed networks, and they are try. Yeah, yeah, and the US is very very behind. Yeah, the US don't have any high speed rail at all. Really. A country that big and they, they don't. Oopsie. A country that big and they don't have any high speed. I, I think they have some high speed, but hardly any compared to what. I mean, we have quite a few mileage. We have quite a bit of mileage, of at least 125 miles an hour. Oh, this. Hold on. Are there three brakes on this? There might be. It's very, very possible. What's that one do? What's what that? Does, slowing does, you down. Yeah. Oh dear. Sorry, I was playing around with it a bit too much there. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. We basically made the APT, which was the tilting train. So we were going to use older infrastructure to do to use fast trains on older infrastructure, and it, it didn't. Well, it, the thing is, it's working now because we're using it. But then it. Didn't uh, work. That's the dynamic break. Oh dear, I've been comp- paying no attention to that. <laughs> Maybe I'd have been breaking easier if I had have been paying attention to it. Maybe you could have done there you go. Oopses. Yeah, Brian Vale is a US rail network is primarily freight. Yeah, because by the time you put high speed rail in, I think most of the time with America, you could probably just fly. Mm-hmm. That? But it's probably the reason why, because America's a lot larger than, oh, well, it's a lot larger than you think it is. Yeah, when I went from, I can't remember, where did we go? Uh, where I can remember flying somewhere to somewhere, somewhere to Wyoming. I think it was like Washington to Wyoming, yeah. and we flew just because it's so much easier. Yeah. Yeah. Geeky cowboy, yes. What's that? Geeky cowboy is it something? Don't think dynamic brakes are as good as train brakes. I mean. Apparently, I'm no good at any breaks, but... <laughs> Where are we? We're in Sunnyvale. Sunnyvale. Are you getting on the train? Hurry up. Oh, this, yeah, I did see there was a planning... I did see there was one in Florida for high speed as well. Mm-hmm. Wasn't there? Or they, they do... Is it to Disneyland, possibly? I can't remember. Oh yeah. Yeah, still. Oh, I've still got my brakes on. Silly me. We drove to Disneyland when we went there. Ah, I'm yet to go to any Disneyland. I've been to the one in Paris and um, Florida. Nice. Yeah. The Florida one is huge. Probably need a long time to go around there. Apparently, we're on the last stretch. There we go. Disneyland yes. Paris is. Yeah, I went. Right, I caught yep. the train in Paris to Disney to the Disneyland Paris. I actually got the train to Disneyland. Yeah. I just don't know which train it was. There you go. The Florida line is called Bright Line, a privately owned high-speed railway. Yeah, that's. It's only just recently started up, hasn't it? Or they've they've started and they've only got so far, and they're thinking mm-hmm. of extending, aren't they? Interesting. Uh, 
There are a few high-speed rail projects here in the states, Texas Central and California HSR are the two major ones. And even then, they're not all that impressive. Oh. Oh. Yeah, because I don't think they're very long. They, you know, you were because I, I remember seeing there was a plan at one stage that they wanted to cover the whole of America in high-speed rail. Yeah. Which I think, you know, apparently it would take you even a couple of days to get from one end to the other. Um, yeah. I remember seeing a, 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 I think it was probably someone's idea, I don't know. Pete Clark, are you doing another one after this route? No, once we're done tonight, that's it, we're done. Yeah. Um, but we will be on air again next week. What are we doing next week, Jamie, actually? What are we doing next week? That is a good point. Because I think I'm down for two. I know I'm doing one with you next Friday. Yeah. But I know Monday is another L... Oh, no, not Monday. I'll get it right in a minute. Everyone's going to get excited for a Monday stream I... now. Oh, it's got, yeah. Jamie's just promised you a I Monday stream. I that one's got. Dear, ah. I'm going to check that one. Um... So it should be on Tuesday, which is the 15th for anyone, and it will be another LGV preview. Ooh. There you go. I'm looking forward to that. And then Wednesday will be Workshop Wednesday, I imagine. Yes. Yeah. Let's have a look outside. Should we try and get a nice shot? You're much better at getting like pretty angles of the train and stuff than I am. Ah, uh, well, now you see, there's a reason for that. Why? Why are you so good at it? Well, well let's just say I've been a railway filmer and photographer for about 10 years now. Dirty little so... cheater then! Yeah, I just. just <laughs> I've had a YouTube channel for 10 years and. I sort of know what, what well, it's not ah. just me showing off, it's just I've done, I've learned the techniques of how to film a locomotive. Let's Fair it enough. Way. Explains why you're better. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, I, I, uh, Petra, yeah, I have practiced a lot. Yeah, I, I, I think I, I did some uh, train simulator videos on my old YouTube channel a long while ago. <laughs> so, yeah, I have, I have done quite a few practices here I was thinking you just picked it up really well and <laughs> actually <laughs> paces and gronks are the superior form of rail transport according to just a hillbilly there you go just a hillbilly would you literally I think probably Moggy would be the same as well you'd probably just cover Moggy and Matt would just cover the whole of the world in paces and gronks and that would be their that would be their transit system and everybody would have to have one <laughs> Papa's film said Natalie should make a channel I mean that would be a disaster it would just be lots of <laughs> clips of me narrowly avoiding going flying past the station that is that. <laughs> uh, gaming attic is asked how I am. I'm doing very well, gaming attic. <laughs> Can we expect Amtrak P42s in a train sim world soon? If you want to see what we're working on, take a look at the roadmap. If it's not on there, yeah. we're not it's working. not currently being worked on. Yeah. Yeah. If I run Gronks on a network, I'd still be more reliable and quicker than Southern. Oh! Oh, that's a good, that's a good one, Moggy. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Can you show us next month's roadmap? No. No, we cannot. No. 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 Nice try. Nice. Worth asking, but the answer is no, I'm afraid. Can you all start making trains in Chicago next time? If you have a suggestion, go to the forums, uh, go to the suggestions part, pop it in there, and you never know, you can might have a chat with somebody about the route you want. 
Sonic Scott 91 just did a Nebworth on Munich Augsburg because uh. I was watching the stream. So did you do a Natalie or you did do a Nebworth? Because a Nebworth is when you go flying past and none of the doors are on the station. A perfect Natalie has one door on left the on the station. Yeah. Yeah. DNA Swift Tiger says, can we dress Sam up as an elf? Now? I mean, we could ask as much as we liked, but let's be <laughs> honest, I think we all know that's probably not going to happen. <laughs> uh, Sonic, 90, uh, Sonic Scott ni uh, 91 said, Nebworth, I completely flew through the station 120 kilometres an hour. Oh, goodness me, oh. I am speeding. Jamie, you didn't tell me to slow down. I didn't see it. I was <laughs> reading the chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Moggy, the big CEO of Bronx and Paces. There you go, Moggy. There's your new job title. going a bit slow now. I, s I was a bit too harsh on the brakes there. Ah. Natalie, have you seen this year's Canadian Christmas train? I have not. It's going on my list of things to look up. <laughs> I love Christmas trains. I've just been on the Norfolk Lights Express. Amazing, absolutely incredible. Having or seeing all the lights and, and everything like that. Yeah, since you right. lot mentioned Christmas trains, I am absolutely obsessed with them. I love the ones that are, you know, like, that are covered in lights. Mm, Incredible. Yeah. Question for everyone who's going to be watching the Polar Express this Christmas and who hasn't already watched it? Oh, I haven't yet, but I will be watching it. I will literally, I will be watching it. Mm. Oh, gosh. The chat told me to slow down and I didn't pay enough attention and now I'm speeding. <laughs> You're speeding again. <sighs> Who's the one that said oh. I told you to slow down? Pete Clark, I know, you had my back again and I didn't pay attention. Moggy, how have you not watched the Polar Express? You, How? Call, you call yourself a train enthusiast and you haven't watched the How? Polar Express? Wow. Oh, am I breaking? Oopsie. I'm, I'm breaking a little bit too hard. I am absolutely Basically, botching this. Either. Why haven't you watched it and why don't you plan to do so? <laughs> oh, Moggy says lack of gronks. Of course, Moggy. Of course. <laughs> Everybody's saying they watch it every year. Someone said they watched it ten times already. Old train boy is asking, is telling people if they want, if you, I will give you ice cream if you watch the Polar Express. Ooh, there's oh. some incentive for Moggy to watch it. There you it. go, there goes your incentive. I don't know, bacon cheese, I don't understand what the whole Die Hard Christmas thing is. I mean, I've, I haven't watched the first Die Hard, so... Uh, I, I, Jordan Axman, can someone answer my question? Will we ever get Canadian and Pacific Heritage units in Train Sim 2021? I honestly don't know, Jordan. Um, I don't think it's being worked on at the moment, as far as I'm aware. Um, so there's no news on that at the moment, so I can't tell you when, because I don't know when, or if. That's uh, the Arctic, honest answer. Arctic set up, uh, Arctic Preterel, I'm trying to pronounce your name right, so I'm, so I'm sure there's a Thomas the Tank Engine special with a Gronk. Yes, there is. There's a two-part of Diesel episode on the East point, uh, on the Scrooge, uh, basically Scrooge. I, no, can't I like remember, that. But, but so, uh, yeah, so there is a Gronk. There is a Gronk Christmas special. Well, this is a nice, like, slow stop. This is the kind of stop I can manage. Peter <laughs> Gabs photography says, Yay, Natalie's making it, lol. <laughs> yeah, I am. 
absolutely smashing this one. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. Yeah. No, Pete, I haven't seen Die I've seen, the only die one of the diehards I've seen is Die Hard with a Vengeance. I, I can't remember I've seen any other ones. Isn't that the like the most recent one? No. No, it's like the mid one, I think. Okay. We we got onto films. How did this happen? <laughs> Christmas films, isn't it? Yeah, that is true. That is true. <laughs> is this Derridan Station? I don't know. How do I find out? It should be uh, station name or something. Where is it? Uh, I don't know. Oh. Oh, well, it'll tell me at the bottom, won't it? Yes, it was. There we go. It was. Oh, I got there a gold go. medal! I got a gold oh, medal! look at that! Yes! There we go. I'm dead happy with that. I haven't had a gold medal gold. for ages. There we go, look at that. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, I think that's it from us tonight. Um, it is, yeah. So just to recap, next week's streams on Tuesday, it's going to be an LGV stream with... Is that Matt and Sam again? That is... Yeah, yeah. Sam and Matt. Yeah. And then on Wednesday, you've got Workshop Wednesday. On Thursday, yeah. is it me and Sam? It is, yeah. Uh, on Thursday, it's me and Sam, and then on Friday, you're joined by me and Jamie again. Yep, and so I'm driving. You're, oh, Jamie's driving next time. There you go. Yeah. Let's see if Jamie will do a Natalie next week. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope everyone has an absolutely wonderful weekend. Um, yeah. Good night from me. And it's good night from me.